hello hello fam welcome my name is magdalene janet if you are new welcome to the fam please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on instagram and tiktok because i'm there daily now and of course welcome back to all my oldies but goodies you guys face is almost done i'm loving the skin today look Ooh, but before we get started with the blush, I do want to show you the products I just used right now. So I started off with the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream as a primer and to even out the skin because this is the, what it does. Then I waited a few minutes and I went in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm in the shade Valencia 5M, added that, buffed it out with my e.l.f dual complexion brush then i went in with my fenty bright fix eye brightener in the shade deep melon blended this out with my finger i just find that it blends out beautifully with the finger let that sit for a little bit then i went in with my kosas concealer in the shade 4.5 again blended it out with the finger here we are now this skin looks bomb i love how my under eyes look because you cannot see the darkness this may be a dream come true right now like yeah okay anyway that's not the point of the video Huda Beauty just released these cheek tint blush sticks so being a cheek tint I'm not gonna expect it to be super super pigmented so let's see this retails for $25 it comes in five shades I got the shade proud pink these are buildable cream blushes that melt into the skin gliding seamlessly over the complexion with a dewy hint of tint for major second skin vibes the coverage is medium finishes natural highlighted ingredients as lychee extract and vitamin e that provides moisture and smooth application so hopefully these are good i'm kind of excited but you know i don't know i haven't seen any reviews or anything do you guys know how i do this comes in a, how big is this this is a 0.17 ounce container let's see how big well it has like a sheen okay it's little it's a little situation here oh wait i need a i think yeah you see and look you see that like hint you see that shininess but let's see oh yeah you see that sheen right there oh this is pigmented this is a pretty color okay okay so since this is a very creamy product i just assume because it's in a stick form i definitely let my complexion products kind of dry down so it's not too wet and this just doesn't slip and slide everywhere you know by the way my eyeliner is this palette right here i actually just filmed it for TikTok, so it should be up by the by the time this video is up. So okay. So with blush, I always like to bring it up where my ear is. This top of the ear, it's a good starting point. And I'm not gonna go like this because I don't want my foundation to move. I'm just gonna kind of tap it in. That's probably not the best way. Let's get this brush. Oh yeah, you see. And this is a what brush is this? A Makeup Shack T42. I always like to use small brushes also because I got a little face. And creams tend to spread. I don't know if I like that sheen, but I just think they all have this. You see what I'm saying? Let's not judge completely yet. Ooh. Okay, pigment. Ooh, and shine. It looks natural. It's like, yeah, it does give you that natural flush of a little bit of color. Let's see how it works with the finger since I've been all about the finger. You see that the shine that I'm telling you about? It's like a what is those lipsticks that my mom used to wear? They have that like, oh, metallic. That's what I'm trying to, I'm like, what's that word? Metallic-ish to it. I just, I don't know. I've never been a fan of that because it's probably just because I have oily skin. I kind of like with the finger. It's just like, it blends like butter. This is one of those products that you see how how more pigmented it is with the brush versus the finger. This is the type of product that on the go product, like you're not feeling like yourself and you don't, you ran out of time, you bam, bam, blend it out and you have like a flush of pink cheeks. I like this packaging. This is just cute, super girly, convenient to throw it in the bag, you know? I like that it's not lifting the foundation. The way you know if that's happening is if your foundation, like if there's like a patch, you'll see it like it completely came off. Oh, I like this one. This side's better. Okay, Miss Huda, I wasn't really too sure about these. I low-key wasn't really excited, but wait a minute. To clean up blush, you can always get your concealer or powder. I do this with both. 
kind of like do this motion and then you can either get like a brush or a sponge and just stipple this out this way it kind of cuts your cheek you see and it's just a way to clean it up if like you went down too low that happens to me a lot because i do have a smaller face and things just spread quickly with a smaller area in a smaller area you know what i mean a lot of times when i know i'm gonna wear cream products i do blend my foundation out with a brush because you see how it kind of looks like a little rough here get that same brush you used for your foundation without adding additional product it's whatever was there you just kind of blend out here gently and you see how like seamless that looks it just melts into the skin and it just looks like natural you know as natural as we can get it fill it out a little more um, um where's my brush pink all over it's so wow i like this i like this look how pigmented it looks and i let it sit for a little bit so we can see how it kind of dries down oh wait this isn't blended hold on actually let me just get my foundation brush you see that shine it gives the skin oh wow don't mind my pillows right there dang gina okay 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 so what i am concerned about is how it's gonna set so let's get some setting powder the beauty bakery hold on i'm a mess i always feel like i'm organized in my mind but in reality in actuality i'm not yeah i never have my stuff together cassava it's yellow why did i get yellow here we go let's set because setting will really tell us what's up i'm just gonna get a little bit because i know this powder a little goes a long way okay let's blend out the under eyes first and with whatever product we have let's bring it down here around the cheeks not like right where the cheeks are this is just setting lightly then with whatever remains with our powder puff let's just tap it over the blush i like to set down my blush because i have oily skin and i don't want it to slip and slide out we can see how dewy it is but look how good why do i feel like i'm so cold hold on look how good it looks you can still see it oh my god it kind of matches my eyeliner huh you see oh oh my wow it's you see like dang that sheen just like comes through Alrighty then, let's get a little bit of powder blush. The reason I set with powder blush is to kind of lock in that cream powder. Do you have to do it? No, but I like to do it to show you guys how it works, especially throughout the day since we're going to do a wear test. As you can see right now, the cream blush is pigmented where when I set it with powder, you still see through it. So we're going to get some Huda Beauty The Glow Wish. I'm going to get a good amount. I don't know why I'm using this brush, but I switch my brushes weekly and this is this week's brush. So I'm just going to tap, tap. This is kind of like double setting, but that's it. Like I don't want to put too much because I still want the cheeky tint cream blush to really shine through, you know? So what I've been doing lately is not really bronzing as much as I do. And I've been using this fluffy brush to kind of give us that very blended look. So let's get a little bit of outer bronzer. Sweep it on top of this blush. It's just going to give us like that bronzy look. But that's it. Nothing too cray. Now we're going to get a little bit more powder. And this is where we can clean up some more. The way I clean up is measure it with the my mouth not measure it line it up and then bring it up to the where the ear is mouth to ear this will just sharpen this situation up also if you do it right here you can do this with concealer too i just like doing it with powder even with your nose kind of like that oh you see let's see the time let's see the time so it's currently 7 20 i'm just gonna finish up the face and then i'll be back okay peinada and everything let's get really close and see very very natural you can build it up it could be worn super sheer it could be worn on the skin it's pretty pigmented you see that swatch i have and here let me i did wash my hands but i tried not to touch it you see how blendable it is and it's still there and i feel like the longer you let it sit the more it kind of just sticks onto the skin which is good because if you have oily skin 
it will like really adhere and if you have dry skin this is like a dream because it's so moisturized i'm like pleasantly surprised i'm not like shocked because huda beauty is killing the game but you know i just wasn't sure you know but yeah okay anyway <laughs> let's go in front of the window so you can see how this blush looks in daylight and i'll see you later bye you guys let's fix this hair look at this blush it's by far one of the most natural yet pigmented blushes and you know how i feel about creams like they're kind of intimidating they could spread all over the place they can make you look a mess real quick but this one is just like gentle it's very gentle to the skin but pigmented it's not like you cannot see it you know but i love it i love it but let's see how it lasts because you know oily skin creams who knows so yeah Okay, bye. I'm on back. Oh, it is almost eight o'clock. We've had the blush on all day long. But of course, before we get started, I do want to show you how the blush and cheeks were looking at around four today. So it was looking really good. Very, very vibrant, which was pretty surprising, especially at that point. It had been roughly most of the day, you know? Here we are now. Look, look, I feel like throughout the day, it kind of just melts into the skin. You see, it's like kind of natural. I mean, you know as natural as one can be with all this makeup on but you see it's just like i was like wait what it just looks really really good it's just very natural it's like that flush of color that it's giving you and i really really like it i'm very surprised too that it's not patchy i was out and about today sweating it was hot here in la and nothing happened to the face and wow girl. we do not look gastadas at all very well put together right it's like very spring-esque you know but i love this i'm very surprised though like i wasn't sure i was gonna love this as much as i did because i really wanted to test it out and i wanted it to be functional and something that actually works and stays on the skin all day especially especially i got all my oily skin girls here you guys know we put it through the test see let's see does it come off not really i mean a little but and you see my oiliness like i haven't touched up it's like once i place my makeup on in the morning like i i lock it in the morning so it lasts all day you know but i'm surprised i'm surprised i like it i like it so yes this is a yes for me i do like it just remember it is 25 dollars, and you don't get a lot of product but you also don't need to use a lot of product because it's pretty pigmented in a sheer way you know what i mean so yeah i think this is the eib sale is coming soon so if you want to wait and get it then that that would be it and let me know your thoughts you guys know we're always chit chatting in the comments and i love you guys so 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 much thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye